In this video we will teach you how to program the logics used by Alphalog to execute the actions, as SMS, email, MQTT messages, switched power supply outputs and others. It is possible to program different logics related to one or more event. Event is a condition when one or more parameter values are outside programmed thresholds. Logics are associate to actions. Actions are the ways used by Alphalog to actuate the switched power supply outputs also called actuators, to execute SMS, email, MQTT messages, to change the data delivery time rate and the requirement to exit from the low power mode status in consequences of events. The timer logic types are only used to activate and disactivate action, using a time schedule, it is not jointed to any measurement values and threshold, for example, it can be used to switch on a watering system every day at 5 o'clock and for one hour. Instead of, the threshold comparison logic types are jointed to measurement values and thresholds, this is more suitable to program logics related to alarms. Concerning the timer types, if the logic will be used to activate the action for just one time a day, we suggest using the no cyclic mode option. Otherwise, if the action is required to be cyclically switched on and off for more than one time a day, better to use the cyclic mode option. Go to logics and select add. Here there are two choices, timer and threshold comparison. Here there are two examples. In this example, using no cyclic mode, this logic, called, watering at 5 am, will be jointed to the action used to switch on the actuator connected to the watering system every day at 5 am and will switch it off at 6 am. In this other example called, watering every 3 hours, starting from the next midnight, cyclically, the alpha log will switch on the watering system for a duration of 1 hour, then will switch it off for 3 hours, then will start it again for another 1 hour, cyclically. Now we will proceed, showing different logic types to be joined to threshold comparison. In this example we describe a logic, called heat. To activate an action when the air temperature is more than 40 degrees. We can set an hysteresis value, it is a parameter used for the execution of the action, where we prefer to avoid continuous action activation and deactivation when the air temperature value is floating around 40 degrees. For example, if we set 1 degree, the action will be execute starting at 41 degrees and will be deactivate at 39 degrees. In this other logic, called heat 1, we entered a minimum time of permanence of the temperature value over the 40 degrees threshold, if we set 5 minutes, it means that the action will remain anyway off until the air temperature will remain greater than 40 degrees for at least 5 minutes. We can also set a minimum time to return the value inside the limit. It is used to switch off the action, for example, 10 minutes later then the air temperature remains lower than 40 degrees. To enter a new logic, Click on Add and select the type of logic to be used, select it and click on Add. Type a name for this logic, the name is important, because it will be reported in the SMS and email messages. Click on Edit and select the parameter used to define the logic. Select Air Temperature Measurement for example and confirm. Here there are four types of comparisons, select, greater than, 
Because we selected just one measure, air temperature, as activation mode we will use single measure. We can use end, or, choice when we use more than one similar parameter. For example if we have two temperature sensors, and we want to enter one logic which will include both of them. Here type 40 degree as upper threshold. Click on OK to save it. Now we can proceed to join each logic to a specific action. Select action. Here there are two groups. The first group shows the three switched power supply outputs. The group below is concerning the other actions used to activate the logics, as SMS, email, MQTT messages. Fast mode, is used by Alphalog to increase the rate of the data delivery in case a logic occurs, see tutorial number 16 for more information about fast mode. Wake up is related to the capacity of Alphalog to exit from his low power mode setup during the time of the logic occurs. Select action, select one action, switched power supply outputs number 2, for example and click on edit. Select one or more logics to activate this power supply outputs number 2. If we select two logics we need also to set if we want to start the action when both logics occurs, and in this case, or when only one of them occurs, or in this case. In case of switched power supply outputs, we can also set a secure logic, when this is selected the actuator will be on, when the logic is not occurring, and off when the logic occurs. Concerning SMS, it is possible to enter up to 5 telephone numbers divided by a comma. Here, there is the possibility to choose which information we want to receive inside the SMS message, site and station names and serial number are programmed in the registry menu. Logic and measure means that we want to receive also the name of the logic and the value of measurement which produces the logic occurring. Field separator is used if we want to send SMS inside a database, in this case, the way to divide each information should be set. When you select the information, you want to receive, pay attention to the number of the remaining characters, because one SMS can contain up to 132 characters only. Here there is a preview. Here an example of the two SMS we received, the first one, when the logic started, the second one, when the logic ended. Concerning email, Watch video tutorial number 22 to learn how to set the SMPT email box. Here you can set up the email address list, considering, to place one comma to separate each address and that the total number of characters composing the address list can reach up to 128 characters, about 4 email addresses. In the email subject line, as for SMS messages, it is possible to set data and time of the email sending, data logger serial number, station, and site names. Even using email, we will receive two emails, the first one, when the logic is starting, the second one, when the logic is ending. Here is the possibility to set if we want to receive a text file containing the data, as attachment. We need to enter three categories of numbers. The first number is the number of the time base elaboration from which, we want to receive data. In this example we choose the second time base which corresponds to the number 1. 
The second number corresponds to the number of minutes, maximum 60 minutes, of data we want to receive from the moment of the occurring of the logic. For this reason we can choose only time base elaboration sub multiple of 60 minutes. The next numbers are the numbers corresponding to the column containing the data we want to receive. These numbers are from the column number of the data file. Date and time is always in the column number 1, so the number 1 is always the first number of this sentence. For fast mode, MQTT and wake up actions, we need only to select the logic names we want to use for their execution. At the end save the configuration.